all those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe has okay. great fashion taste everyone. Yeah. Um, so welcome back to vlog three, I think. Um, we thought today we'd just show you a couple of horses having a jump at home. Um, one of the little exercises I do and a few things to jump do with jumping the horses at home. very simple so we start with either a cross pole or a small vertical um, and then we gently build that up until the sort of height that we'll be jumping in the course. Um, it's very simple, a lot of different riders like to sort of jump a vertical, go, then go to an ox and then back to a vertical. Uh, ours is very simple so we jump the vertical, start small, build it up gradually and we then move to an oxer, same again, start small, build that up, we then stop I'll just shunt my saddle forward so that's in the right spot. Um, go back in, one last bigger vertical just to finish and then we're going to Right, so this is me jumping Romeo around. Um, as you can tell pretty much from the start, he was very fresh today. Um, they've been having a few easier weeks before they sort of start gearing up before Spain. Um, so this is probably the biggest he's jumped in a little while and hence why he's a bit fresh as you can see. He jumped that box a really nice going in there, that three stride to the, the vertical. Um, came around that corner, he was just fighting me a, a touch. Um, but like I say, he's jumping really nicely, it's just he's fresh in between and he's feeling very well. Um, but the actual jump itself, I'm really pleased with him, he feels fabulous. Joe's doing important stuff like building courses and stuff in the arena. I thought I'd take Frankie and his fluffy ears on a quick hack around the fields. So he's just having a nice chilled day, hacking around the fields. There's the babies out in the field at the moment. So a few people have been asking for sort of tips or little exercises they can do at home. This is one that I really like to use all the time. Uh, it's a very simple exercise. It's really good if you're trying to get a feel for what sort of stride your horse has. Um, it's working on your control as well. Or even if you're just sort of bored of uh, everyday work and flat work, things like this. It's, it's a nice sort of change to the, the normal routine. Um, so what we've got going on is we've got a little red line. So we've got the red fence there. And then some four strides, if you're jumping the course, four strides down to that other red. 
Um, you can use either small fences or cavalettis or even a pole on the ground if you don't feel comfortable doing it over a fence. Um, and what you do is I'll show you, but you'll run down it on different sets of strides every time. So you might go four the first time, five the next time, and then six after that, and then back to four. And it really gets you feeling how the horses can turn and also what sort of size step they have and how much control you've got as well. So this is running down on the four. This is what the normal distance would be if you were jumping the course. Um, you can see how it runs down that nicely on a, on a nice step. So this time I decided to go down six, so I'm adding two extra strides into the line. Um, it was nice to sort of have the feeling that I had that control and that he wasn't fighting me as I ran down the line either. His head stayed quite low and he said he was listening to me the whole way. So this is me doing the five, I'm just adding one extra stride to the distance. Uh, I just land and gently take a contact so that he just brings, brings his body and his weight back so that he can add in that extra stride. Question, say you turn up to an, a competition and you've completely like messed up with your timings and you've got like two hours to wait until the class you wanted to jump, would you go in and jump that class that you've turned up for or would you wait those two hours? And... It depends on your horse really, if it's, and it depends on the situation that you're going there for. If you're going there for obviously a qualifier or it's that specific class and you're just going to have to suck it up and wait. But um, if you go there, maybe you can just school them around just to get them out to a show so they see a few different things and it might not do them any harm to jump in a small class before just to use up a bit of time. Teddy, how do you feel about your sports vibe base layer? <laughs> Again, thank you very much for watching the vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, make sure that if you do try that exercise at home, let me know how it goes. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and find it a little bit challenging.